Greetings, performance reviews, where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today we are going to unbox a Mila Complete C3 Brilliant. That's right, the very best, the best Mila that they make currently right now in 2022. And it is a gorgeous machine. Once we get this unboxed, I think you're gonna love the color of this machine and the performance. Let's get started. Let's open this up and see what the very best Mila has to offer is. Right away, we're greeted with some really useful information. It takes GN style of vacuum bags, where to get them, some information accessories, and also instructions on how to take it out of the box. I guess they thought we would need those here. So first up, we have the SEB 236 premium carpet nozzle. This is lower profile than their other models, has a bumper and a very nice LED light. We're also greeted with the manual just for that nozzle. On top here, we have the hose. And one of the things that separates this from the other models is this has the push button on and off and all the suction controls right here at your fingertips. You have an extra wide parquet twister hard floor tool. This is their newer style switchable floor tool. So this floor tool can go between area rugs and hard floors with the flip of that switch. Really a nice tool, Mila branded of course. We have their telescoping wand right here. And this wand is stainless steel and has a plastic tip so you don't scratch your floors or your baseboards when using it. And it's a one touch and that will telescope it either way. And you see these big locking notches, very solid wand. We also have the user manual and you can see the model number is an SGNE0 or an SGPE0. So if you need to know something technical, there is the model number. All right, let's pull the rest of this out of the box. And a little tip, do it on carpet and gently rotate it over and slide it out upside down. Now, this is probably the first time I've unboxed a Mila on camera. So I'm gonna point out some things. The foam is actually designed to fit all of their models and they can just combination it a little bit different with all their models. Something they do to make it a little bit more eco-friendly. You'll also have noticed that the box, you actually pick up the vacuum. Don't try to lift the box without holding this or completely from under it because it is really thin recycled cardboard. Mila has a really high emphasis on the environment and that shows in their packing. So let's see what's in this bag. Now, Mila claimed they partnered with Porsche for this paint, and man, does it look good. It is just gorgeous. I don't think it's gonna come out on camera just how good this machine looks. And the looks on a vacuum, really not that important, but this really stands out. And it should be in the top of the line machine. The other thing is that they've chromed the cord rewind, the master on and off, and the hose connector. So nice touches from Mila. All right, here's everything that comes in the box. You have your manuals, your wand, your switchable floor tool, your carpet floor tool, your hard floor tool, your hose, your dusting brush, upholstery, crevice tool. The dog is not included. There's one bag ready to go in the machine and a HEPA filter. HEPA filter is good for about 60 working hours, which is typically nine months to a year, depending on your household size. This machine also has a light on it that'll let you know when to change the filter and it has a suction indicator. There's an extra convenience feature that Mila has that most canisters don't have, which is when you open it, it pulls the bag partially out for you. A lot of people don't understand this feature is there and they try to close it without first reseating the bag. So anytime you open this, make sure you reseat the bag. Hear the click and you can see it lines up there. Again, it pulls it out partially for you. It's a convenience feature. 
Now, if you don't have the bag all the way in, it's not going to shut. The HEPA filter has this tape with arrow going to it. And what that does is it lets you know that there's an indicator right here, which you can push, which will turn red as it's time to change that filter. Again, this being the brilliance, it has a filter check light on the back here. Assembly is really straightforward. You just take your hose, you plug it in. It only goes one way. There's a notch here, notch here you can reference along with the plug there. And everything at first is going to be really good and tight the way the Germans like it. The uh, accessories, they will come in place inside the machine and they fit in there only one way. So just keep in mind, if this door doesn't shut, rearrange your accessories until they do. But there is a on switch right here and that brings the machine into standby and then we can turn it on right here and adjust the suction accordingly. With this, there are some settings. I'm just gonna go through them real quick. Maximum is what you're going to use the majority of the time. You only want to turn it down when you're dusting or doing something really delicate. The auto setting is actually useless here in the US. The auto setting is to be used with this floor tool only. Don't use it with any of the other floor tools. It's designed to turn suction down to save electricity Again, not a huge deal here in the States. When using the carpeted nozzle or the XL nozzle, you cannot use the auto setting. You must use it on its highest setting to clear the dust and the debris from these accessories. So keep that in mind. That is only for use on that one switchable floor tool. The full bag indicator is right here. The full bag indicator works like the gas gauge in your car. As the bag fills up, it's going to show half full or all the way full. If you are at high altitude, anything over a mile high, you might need to have that adjusted for your altitude. Bring it to your local dealer for details. A couple other notable details. It has a velvet bumper to protect your furniture and the machine. You have soft rubber wheels. These are non-marring. These will not scratch your floor. They are some of the best in the business. I think the other weird nuance that should be explained is when you have the hard floor tool on and the machine's on, you naturally put it in the parking position. Like so, the machine will shut off. You can move a chair and then pull it and resume. There's also room to park everything. So it will actually store everything on board. If you're wanting to bring the hard floor tool and not have it shut off, you can put it in upside down on the rear and it's not going to let the machine shut off. Let's see how much working vacuum the best of the best gets. Here, a mile above sea level, it gets 50 inches of working vacuum, which is damn impressive. 80 inches sealed. Excellent numbers, some of the best in the business. Hey, you might have noticed a tone change in my voice. We got the studio microphone. There's a little bit of a high noise level right here, but we're going to uh, turn this machine on and you're gonna hear the real sound of the machine. one of the quietest vacuums on the market and you can have a conversation quite pleasantly with this on in the background. I got some fresh pet hair here. Let's see if it picks it up. Well, no surprise there. It handled that with ease. We got some fine sand and some breakfast cereal. Let's see how it does on hard floor. Like anything else with the Mila name, it does as advertised. You may have noticed the running lights on the bottom of the machine, which stay lit 
even after the machine is off. The one touch cord reel. The idea is that these light your way into your closet so you're not having to go around in the dark in your closet. Hey folks, thanks for watching my Mila Brilliant unboxing. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you have a Mila Brilliant, I'd love to hear from you. Or if you have the older version, the Mila Uni-Q. If you like what we're doing, check down below in the description. There's all sorts of good stuff. Not only do we have a Discord server where we talk vacuum cleaners all day long, I'll have a link to this machine if you wish to purchase one. And I'll also have a link to your local Mila dealer, which is the best place to buy one. So go check that out and have yourself a fantastic day.